Hey what is up guys this is Ravi Singh from Techpost recently Dell has released this all new 15 inch Inspiron 7560 Ultrabook and today in this video I will compare it with the all new XPS 15 9560 which is also powered by a 7 generation KB Lake i7 processor Now before we start I request you to please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already we upload videos related to how to tech guides unboxing and app review Now Inspiron 7560 has already released in UK, India and Korea. Soon it's going to be released in US and other countries. Now if I talk about the build quality, both XPS 15 and Inspiron 7560 has a solid design and build quality. The XPS 15 and Inspiron has aluminum top and bottom panel. The deck is soft rubber matte finish in Inspiron 7560, while XPS 15 has this soft touch carbon fiber finish. Now this doesn't wear out in XPS 15 but I don't know about the Inspiron as it's new and haven't used much but both feels really good it the Inspiron can be open one handed but not as smooth as XPS 15 but the hinges are solid with little wobble and you can open up this Inspiron 7560 now if I talk about the connectivity For ports, we have two USB 3.0 ports, an HDMI port, a combo headphone jack, Ethernet connector, SD card reader, a USB 2.0 USB port with Noble Security Lock. Now there is no USB C Type port which you get in the XPS 15. The XPS 15 gets pretty decent ports. You get a USB C Type port with HDMI connector, SD card reader, and two 3.0 USB ports with a combo headphone connector. Now the display quality of both XPS 15 and Inspiron 7560 are great but the XPS takes a lead in this. What I liked is the screen with these super thin bezels. It looks really great. The XPS 15 comes with a 4K display and is also available in touch screen model protected with Gorilla Glass. The Inspiron 7560 comes with a 180p True Life IPS LED backlit panel but the color accuracy out of the box was not amazing it's crisp and it does get super bright the screen in the Inspiron is little glossy and so you will see some reflections while using outside while the XPS 15 has this matte looking screen which is non reflective the viewing angles are great in the both ultrabooks and i love these bezels They really improve look and feel of these ultra books and adds more beauty to it. Now if I talk about the camera, the webcam is located at the bottom of the screen in Inspiron just like the XPS 15, but it's in the middle. It's a full HD wide screen webcam with infrared sensors. I'm sorry, there's no infrared sensors in this. It's a full HD wide screen webcam. Uh, the camera in Inspiron 7560 is very good, but not like what we get in the XPS 15. It, it's much better. The infrared camera sensors enables you to control the device with gestures. Now, if I talk about the keyboard and the trackpad, the Inspiron 7560 and XPS 15 has almost similar looking keyboards and trackpads. These are backlit keyboards. Backlighting is white. The keys in Inspirons are good and travel is adequate. It's not too long neither too short. And from good I mean good, not excellent. Same with the XPS 15. They are easy to get used to. The trackpad is nice, wide and big in Inspiron and XPS 15. The trackpad is very responsive with Windows precision drivers. This allows you to perform tasks faster and switch between apps and desktops faster using gestures. You can't compare this trackpad with Apple's trackpad. I mean those are really really good. Uh the click mechanism is solid and you can configure it accordingly. You can click anywhere on the trackpad for left click so you don't need to go to the bottom so clicking. Overall very nicely built trackpad for a ultrabook at this range. But the XPS 15 has this glass trackpad which is best in the category uh while Inspiron has this plastic one. but uh, it feels nice now the dell inspiron 7560 comes with dual drive options 
There are two models as I said earlier, the i5 which comes with 1TB hard disk drive and an i7 model which comes with 128GB SSD drive and 1TB hard disk drive. While the XPS 15 uh, comes with a 256GB PCIe SSD. Both the XPS 15 and Inspiron can be upgraded up to 32GB of RAM. Now the Dell Inspiron 7560 comes with a 42Wh battery which I feel is less for an ultrabook this big. I get around 3 to 4 hour max with low to medium tasks and around 2 hours with heavy tasks like rendering videos and playing games like GTA 5 or Watch Dogs 2. While the XPS 15 comes with up to 97 watt hour battery which is close to legal limit of 99 watt hour. Now it's a really huge battery and XPS 15 with KB Lake chip performs way better and gives you close to 8 hour of backup. Now both Inspiron 7560 and XPS 15 runs on latest KB Lake i7 processors. The XPS 15 comes with i7-7700 quad core processor while the Inspiron has this i7-7500U dual core processor with 4GB Intel HD Graphics 620. Now when comparing the Geekbench score, the Inspiron's and XPS in single core Geekbench score are very close. The XPS takes lead on multi-core score and the difference is big since it's a quad core processor. Now the gaming experience with Inspiron 7560 has been good but not amazing. It's equipped with an NVIDIA GeForce 940MX 4GB DDR5 graphics memory which is the latest graphic card used in this ultrabook. This is a new card with 4GB DDR5 memory instead of 2GB but it is an entry level graphic card so don't expect much from it. But it can pretty much handle modern, modern games like GTA 5. Watch Dogs 2 and The Witcher 3. I have tested these three till now and the gaming performance is good on medium to low settings. The frame rates depends upon whether you are playing game on battery power or using AC adapter. If you want best gaming experience with Inspiron 7560 with high frame rates, I recommend you to use AC adapter instead of battery as it significantly boosts the gaming performance. Now if compared to the XPS 15, the X NVIDIA GeForce 1050 DDR5 graphic card which can handle almost every title available in the market at high settings. You can connect up to 3 full HD and up to 2 4K monitors using Thunderbolt port USB-C type cable. The XPS 15 also allows you to connect with an external GPU via Thunderbolt port. Now if I talk about the noise, you will hear uh, fan noise while playing heavy games or performing heavy tasks like rendering a video but it's not loud or something. The thermal is good, vents are at the back which blows out air downwards. Vents are not visible until you open the screen and tilt Inspiron to a certain position. That's why I'm not able to show you in this video. If I talk about speakers, well speakers are pretty decent I must say, they are loud comes with WaveMax Audio Pro software that significantly boosts the performance and sound quality. Speakers are really good uh, and the sound is really amazing. As I said, the speakers are at the bottom of the keyboard in both XPS 15 and Inspiron. But I think they should have given them on the deck beside keyboards like we get in the MacBook. So when you are using it on a solid surface like on a table, you will get amazing sound experience as sound is reflected but it's not the case when you are using it on your lap. Now the bottom line, this ultrabook is really powerful. It's my first so I don't have much complaints about it. Only downside I feel is the graphics card uh, which is not that great. It's underpowered but performs well while working on After Effects and Premiere Pro. What I love is these super thin bezels and this aluminium build quality. The build quality I must say is really really great and it's eye catching and shines out in the crowd. It's a beautiful ultrabook at this price range. You will get value for money. Other downside is the battery backup. It's really not impressive and what they claim to be. The XPS is really great. It gives you a full day charge. The XPS 15 performs really well. It's way beyond Inspiron 7560 but the difference in the price is also very big. You can buy two Inspiron 7560 i7 models 
for the cost of one XPS 15. Now I won't say it's perfect ultra book, but at this price point, uh, you are getting the latest configuration and build quality. You can even compare the build quality with the MacBook or XPS 15 like we just did. So have a look at this uh, and I hope you will like it too. Uh, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up and uh, it's been nice. I'll see you in my next video.